the second DO. He has some things he would like to share and bring attention to in regards to how politics is affecting the medical world right now. Yeah, there are three things right now mainly uh, politicized in this, especially during this coronavirus uh, pandemic situation. One is here in Florida, they've already exposed uh, 40 or more labs that are doing COVID testing that are in fact uh, faking the results. Uh, they're reporting 100% positive uh, result ratios, which is just statistically impossible. Two of the labs that have already been audited, uh, it turns out instead of 100% positives, they were uh, they were uh, coming out at less than 10% positive. So these uh, this is political, ridiculous uh, motivation, insurance fraud. There's all kinds of uh, illegality going on here. Uh, one of the other points I'd like to touch on is the in uh, in Florida here they're reporting. Uh, that we don't have enough hospital beds, and this is completely not true as well. Uh, what happened is a few months back, the hospitals here had massive layoffs because they were slow and uh, business was just slow. And uh, due to not being able to do uh, elective procedures and things like that, and so they are running, uh, many of them at 50 to 60% staffing capacity. And the real stats are that there are more than enough beds. What there is is not enough staff. So they may be full to capacity based on the number of staff members they have working, but they don't have a full staff working. So those numbers are being manipulated as well. And lastly, regarding the treatment uh, of COVID-19, uh, yesterday and the day before, there were many doctors who had a press conference in Washington, D.C. about their successful treatment of the virus. One particularly has treated over 300 patients in the Houston area with diabetes, hypertension, and COVID positive, and with massive success treating with uh, hydroxychloroquine, zinc, and the, uh, the protocol with uh, Zithromax, uh, which is having good success in many practices across the country. But physicians are being shouted down and the media is uh, not carrying it because because it's not the mantra of what turns out to be the left uh, media that is clearly a hit on, the, on trying to hit on the president here. And uh, those videos showing uh, those physicians who were having successful treatment with that protocol has now been deleted from Twitter and Facebook, which uh, you all probably know are lean, left-leaning organizations. And uh, that's just censor censorship and restricting the information flow in the United States. Uh, in our practice, I've written that same protocol for many of my patients that are at risk, and the local pharmacies have refused to fill my prescription. Uh, I've had many patients on Zithromax or uh, hydroxychloroquine for many years because I also treat lupus and for 20 plus years they've been on that medication with no side effects no trouble whatsoever uh, and so there's no reason to not utilize that protocol if it's indicated and uh, not letting that information freely flow and refusing to utilize those protocols which are having success in other practices uh, is just criminal and so with that being said we'll uh Turn it back here to Shelby Joe. If you want to hear more, tune in to 92.5 FM Radio, Fox News, to hear Straight Talk with Doc Morris this week.